I've got the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here, but today I want to show you a Magisk module that may help you play any content that's protected by DRM that is currently unable to play on your rooted Samsung device. So today I was looking into the progress of gaining root access on the Galaxy Note 20 series. And in that thread over on XDA, I've noticed some people having issues playing DRM video content after they have gained root access to the Galaxy S20. So the solution to fix that is by installing a specific Magisk Manager module. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So after researching this stuff, I've learned that there is a specific file that some applications use for DRM checks. And a lot of these Samsung devices will fail whenever we try to play that if the device has been rooted. So just to show you this module real quick, we're going to go ahead and open up the Magisk Manager application. Then we're going to tap on the hamburger menu icon and then dive into downloads. Now once we get here, we're just going to tap on the search icon. And we're going to type in L-I-B-O-E-M. And that's going to filter out all the other modules and should only display this lib OEM crypto disabler module. And we can tap into that to get a little more information about this module. As you can see, some apps that use this specific file to play protected DRM content, this includes Netflix and My5, will fail when playback is attempted on some rooted Samsung devices. If that's the case for you, then this Magisk module will mask that file to fix that issue. So you can see what we're doing. We're changing this file to a zero byte file. And again, just like the FAQ says, you can do this manually with a root file manager if you want. You'll just need to know that you got to go back and change that file name or put that file back if you want to maintain a systemless setup. And I don't have a specific list of all of the devices this is needed for. You can see right here in the FAQ, it's not needed for the Galaxy S10 Plus. So there's other devices in the S10 series or Samsung devices in general that this might affect and that might not affect. And there is some consequences to installing this Magisk module. Because we're removing that file, we're going to be failing back to L3 instead of L1 Widevine DRM. But again, if you're unable to play these video files anyway, then it's at least better than nothing. The only other way to get around that would be to unbrick your device and restore it to the factory Android images. And then right here at the bottom, we get a little information about what this does, how this has helped the Galaxy S9 series, the Tab S3 series, and the Tab S4 series. So we're going to install this module just like we would any other Magisk module. We're going to tap on that download icon. We're going to tap on install. I'm going to wait for all of that to install. And you can either reboot from here or we can reboot manually. What I'm going to do is power off the device 
and then turn it back on so that I can press and hold the power and volume up buttons during the boot process. So that Majisk is loaded whenever I boot back up into Android. So I have rebooted the Galaxy Note 10 here. And we can dive into the modules section of Majisk Manager to make sure that that module is not only installed, but it is also activated. And with that done, we can now play our DRM videos with apps that use that file to check for DRM.